caught as a Pokemon. And? Pokemon dead. No, caught. Caught the Pokemon. Don't kill the Pokemon. Pokemon are our friends. And we are at a Pokestop. Honestly, really? It's a Jigglypuff. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> It's impossible, ask a baby not to cry, it's just impossible. Can I hold you, can I hold you, and not, and not do, do, closer, closer, can I hold, can I hold you? So most days start with either gym, or running then there's the the exception to the rule where none of that happens and I spend an extra hour in bed today is that exception to the rule um, yeah so I'm hoping to leave half an hour early because it's uh, really early I'm gonna get into the office in about 10 minutes I've got so much to do today um, but yeah get in early crack on try and leave about half four get to the gym or go running because as you can see the weather is absolutely amazing um, and it's all meant to turn to pot tomorrow. Uh, so I've nipped to, yeah, you've guessed it, another supermarket because I'm involved in a project at work. Need to get chocolates because we're actually launching something today. So a uh, very big day, gonna be very exciting. I promise to get the chocolates and do a desk drop. So here I am, also got to get the cleaning products from my cleaner. <laughs> It's 6.15 on Friday morning. I'm waiting for David because he's giving me a lift in. And of course, we've had amazing weather all weekend. But now it's Friday, it's decided to rain. Rubbish. What do you want? Big day today in the C.B. Moritz household. New tree. He spent the afternoon doing the tree. What do you think of the new tree? Mm. I love Saturdays. Love every day, really. It's a jolly holiday, isn't it? All right, Mary. Cue Mary Poppins. Oh, yeah, oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. So we're off out for dinner tonight with some good friends, but we're now off to the public house, the Verulam Arms. Um, public houses, as I've probably said before, are my favorite kinds of houses. So uh, this is a real treat. It's a real Saturday afternoon treat. Is it a treat for you, David? What? The public house. Yeah. Oh. Sunday and we are off to London in the motor car to go shopping for Hi new guys. bathroom furniture because we've got the new bathroom but we need a certain type of wooden wooden equipment basically we need a um what do we need? You know what we need. We need a bath, wooden bath mat thing, a um, bamboo type wooden dustbin thing. It's going to take a quick detour into Planet Organic because uh, I have to show you guys the most expensive sandwich in the world. £6.50. vlog at 60 frames per second versus the standard 30 I normally do so let me know what you think did you see a chair you liked yeah I did yes that was a very unsuccessful but you did find a chair you liked. Yeah. 
have a new chair for the bedroom. But we have the issue of the very narrow staircase. So far, total failure. We are failing miserably on our mission to uh, get the bathroom stuff, so as Alan Sugar would say, the hunt for Alan's apprentice continues, but not the apprentice. We're not, we're not hunting for an apprentice, we're hunting for bathroom furniture. It's insane, this whole thing is for Magnum. It's not insane. Oh, it's insane in a membrane. All of oh, this. I'm going to go and get a freebie. No, I'm not. The queue's massive. Everywhere is just magnum. It's almost a crate, it's like Pokemon. This is literally electrical heaven. This is a new feature of the vlog called product unboxing. Now the aim of this rocket science is for me to unbox new products I get in front of you guys. I get quite a lot of new stuff. Um, I, I am absolutely terrible like that. I am obsessed with buying new digital product mainly. I'm obsessed with buying new product. This came yesterday. Um, was hoping to open it sooner if I wanted to save it for the vlog. This is the Canon G7X. Every, everything I buy has to fulfill one of two purposes. It either needs to fulfill a problem or it needs to fulfill a want. So let me explain a problem. A problem is where I am doing something and I think, damn, I wish I could do this. So therefore a product may fulfill that need. The other side of it is, damn, I really want this. Won't solve any needs, but it's a kind of nice to have. I put the Apple Watch in that category because it, it had so much potential, but for me it didn't have a GPS sensor, so it was no good for running. So it was kind of nice to have. I then got my uh, Garmin watch, which great for running, great for other sports. It has push notifications, it solves the problem, but the problem was created after having the Apple Watch because before I had that, I never knew what push notifications on my wrist were Therefore it wasn't a problem, but after having it, it was. I, I liked that feature, didn't like anything else of the Apple Watch. Needing to charge it every day sucked, so I went with the Garmin. This solves a big problem. Since starting the vlogs, I carry this big camera, a Canon 750D around, with a Joby Focus, a Rode microphone. I carry a small backpack I keep in this cupboard which has spare batteries, it has a smaller tripod, I've just gone and got that big Manfrotto tripod, loads of stuff. This is something I can keep in my pocket, I can, I can put in my work bag, I can keep in the car. It's, it will be my go-to camera. Right, for the grand unboxing. It's got a very nice cardboard lip. I'm just gonna pull that lip open and bend it back slightly. Then I'm gonna open the box. Opening the box, it smells like cardboard. I'm now opening up the side flaps. Inside the side flaps is another little flap, 
which I pull up. It tells me about Canon's sharing capabilities. Tia uh, threw in this uh, crappy 8GB Kingston memory card. Won't be using that because it's far too slow. There is some warranty documentation. I would normally read this out, but um, for the purposes of keeping these vlogs to 10 minutes, I think I'll skip that bit. But if anyone would like me to read it out, I'm happy to do a Skype or something. Here's the instruction manual. Inside, you've got the European plug and the charger. And now for the main event, the camera. The camera the right way up. So as you can see, a really nice piece of kit. Now the main benefits about this camera, um, apart from it being having great autofocus, and it being great for video, it, it being full HD, um, and capturing video at 30 and 60 frames per second, is this guy. So the screen flips all the way up, which means when I'm vlogging, just like now, I can still see myself. And it comes with a little bit of charge. And as you can see, that's what my current setup looks like. So I'm hoping this will solve the problem that I have of not having the most versatile equipment that I can take everywhere. This is now going to be my go-to camera. If you have any comments on the quality, let me know. As long as I A treasure lent me from a...